Hey y'all, I'm back with another YouTube video. It's your girl Javen. If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. It's a fun time over here. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back, girl. Welcome back, or guys, welcome back. So I feel like I'm always like coming back to YouTube in the most random times ever. Like I'll be gone, then I'll come back, and then I'll be gone, and I'll come back. Like, but I'm back. That's all that matters, right? I'm back. I'm back. But today's video, we're going to get a little more personal into my life, what I have going on right now in this very moment in my life, you know. Sorry if you hear music in the background. My neighbor, he bumping some young boy, so I pray y'all don't hear that. But anyways, yeah, so basically we're about to just jump right into this video. So yeah, um, how do I want to start this video? Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to like, basically I'm transferring colleges in my senior year. Like, that's just what it is. Like, well, yeah, my senior year because I'm leaving after my junior year. So I'll be starting a new college my senior year. So, yeah, I've been at the same college that I've been at, like, my whole, my, since my freshman year, freshman, sophomore, junior year, I've been at the same college. I'm not going to say what college I've been at, but I've been at the same college that I've been at since I started college, undergrad, and now I want to leave. Like, I feel like it's not the place for me anymore, so I'm leaving, I'm transferring. And I'm going somewhere where I actually want to be, somewhere I've always wanted to be, somewhere I wanted to be since I started college. Like, I applied there when I was in high school, but I didn't get accepted, so that's why I ended up somewhere else. But now I'm ending up there again, so yay for me. Let's give your girl a round of applause if I'm ending up somewhere we want to be. But yeah, let's just kind of like get into why I'm transferring. Like, obviously I'm going there because I want to go there. But it's more into why I'm not enjoying myself at the school that I'm at now. Um, it's been like an ongoing thing as to why I'm transferring. Like, I just feel like the school that I'm currently at, it's not giving me everything that I've ever wanted in college. Like... When we were in high school and you think about college, obviously you think about getting a great education and, you know, furthering your education and getting you to where you want to be in life, you know, getting that foot into where you want to be and getting your foot into your career, your end goal in your career. But also, you want to enjoy college. That's four years where you're going to spend, you're going to look back on it, you're going to make lifelong friends there, you want to enjoy it, you know, so... I feel like the school that I'm at, I'm not enjoying. I haven't enjoyed it that much. Um, that's just kind of the whole deal with it. Um, it was a lot of things I wanted to do there that I didn't get to do because of certain situations. Um, we're not going to get into that. But yeah. So, yeah. So, that's a whole nother thing for a whole nother day. But anyways, so yeah, I am deciding to transfer. Um, it was just one thing that I can't speak of that led me to transfer. Um, it was just kind of like the icing on the cake. It was just like, yeah, I gotta go. i see y'all later. Like, gotta go. Because it was just like so many things that was just like, boiling on top of each other and it was like that one thing just like it did it for me so I was like yeah I had to apply to different schools and I applied to three schools I'm going to tell you the schools I applied to I applied to Xavier, Louis Xavier University of Louisiana I'm from Louisiana by the way so New Orleans to be specific so I, I applied to um, Xavier University of Louisiana I applied to LSU and I applied to um Prairie View in Texas actually so um yeah because I was thinking about transferring to HBCU because I never had that HBCU experience because I actually currently go to a PWI which there's nothing wrong with PWIs 
Um, that's kind of the environment I've been in my entire life. Like, even going to um, elementary school, high school, I've always been in very diverse schools, like um, predominantly white schools and stuff like that. So going to a PWI was no change for me. That was, you know, fine and all. So um, actually going to HBCU would have been like a big change for me. So I did apply to some HBCUs because Xavier and Prairie View PV is a HBCU. But I did not choose those schools. I'm going to give you the reasons why. Because Xavier, for one, um, is in my hometown. It's in New Orleans. So don't really want to be that close to home. I kind of just applied to see if I would get in. To be honest, if we're being honest here. Um, yeah. So, um, Prairie View, I really applied there because, like I said, HBCU. Um, Prairie View's really good when it comes to the HBCUs on the HBCU side. It's a good HBCU to go to. Um, then it's in Texas. I would love to move to Texas. I would love to get away from Louisiana. Um, the school I currently go to is in Mississippi. That right there isn't kind of getting out of Louisiana for me. Like, it's an hour away from home when I have to drive home. That's, like, right there. So, it don't feel like I really moved away from home. Um, so, Texas would have been a big move for me. But, um, certain situations just made me not choose that school. But, um, like I said, the school that I'm transferring to was a school that I wanted to go to from the very beginning of me going to college. And it's actually LSU. I got accepted there last month. And I actually received my physical copy of my letter today in the mail. Well, I don't know if it was today, but I got it out of the mail today. It might have been in there a couple of days now, but I got it out of there today. So, really excited about that. Y'all want to do? Are y'all ready for how extravagant this is? Like... It's just beautiful. It just warms my heart. Like, it just warms me up when I look at this letter. It's just everything I worked for. Like, huh. Here it is, you guys. It's just so beautiful. Like, and then, like, the letter itself is in the side. It's like a little pull out thing. It's just beautiful. But yeah, I'm so excited, y'all. Like, it's gonna be such an exciting journey for me um even though I am moving back to Louisiana like but I'm happy like I'm excited it's somewhere that I feel like I'm gonna be happy being there I'm gonna meet great people and who doesn't want an LSU degree like I can say I graduated from LSU like girl where you graduated from the Louisiana State University <laughs> why was up yeah yeah let me stop anyways yeah so i'm really excited about that um yeah i've been getting a lot of negative comments from a lot of people around me and my immediate family friends and everything else saying like why are you transferring you only have one year left to school i'm like is this your education or is this mine? Like, is this your life or is this mine? Like, I'm confused. Since when did anybody have a say so in what I do with my education and my career and where I end up in my life? Like, I just feel like this change that I'm about to make is about to be something that's gonna be really good for me. Like. Even though I'm going to only be there one year. I mean, I don't really plan on being there one year. I'm going to be there one year for undergrad. But I do plan on furthering my education and getting my master's. And preferably staying within LSU and getting my master's. So I'll still be going to LSU. Um, so that'll be another two years I'll be out there. So it's not like I'm going to be out there only for one year if I decide to get my master's. And then... Um, if I continue on to medical school as I plan, I will be going to LSU Health Medical Center. But that is in New Orleans, so 
I will be having to move to New Orleans, but move back home. But I will still be within LSU. Like it'll all play out because going to LSU Medical School is one of the top medical schools that I want to go to on my list of medical schools. So it'll all just work out. I get to graduate there, become an alumni, go to the master school, become an alumni from there. Like go to the medical the medical school. Like alumni, alumni, alumni. Like. And just get get to keep it all within LSU. I don't have to keep going to different schools, different school, different school. I keep my education all within the Louisiana State University. Who doesn't love all good for all for one? Like, I mean, the best of the world. So yeah, I just feel like at this point of my life, I am growing up. I'm an adult. I am. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm fully an adult because I'm not paying all the bills in my life. Like, I still have my parents helping me, but I'm 20 years old. You know, I have a good mindset. Like, I know what I want out of life. I'm up there, you know. So, I feel like I get a 100% say so, at least 98% say so in what I get to do with my life. I'm no longer listening to what other people have to say about what I'm doing. Like, I've already checked out everything, like, all the pros and cons about my situation and what I'm doing and how this could benefit me, okay, and how it also can hurt me. So, yes, I may have, there's, like, one or two classes I may have to retake, but I can still graduate on time. Like, it's not pushing me back or anything like that like I'm still gonna graduate next year in 2021 okay if anything the most it may push it back is a semester but I doubt it will even do that because if I even take like some summer classes or something like that this summer like to go into there you know already ahead I'll be fine like or take some extra hours like instead of taking 15 hours maybe take 17 hours take an extra class you know those two semesters that I am there so See, I already got this plan out, like, I would be up there in Baton Rouge, like, every other weekend, talking to them people, trying to make sure everything is aligned, make sure I'm on top of things. They be like, girl, you're good, like, you are, you are already on top of yourself. I'm like, look, ma'am, I'm a girl that likes to be on top of her things, like, I like to make sure everything is already organized, make sure everything is where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. I don't like waiting last minute for things. I don't want nobody telling me at the last minute, oh, you can't graduate because you short on credits. I want to make sure I'm going in there. I already know how many credits I need, how many credits I got to work for. Point blank, period. Period. Like, that's just that. So, but yeah, I'm so excited, y'all. Like, I've been a sh apartment shopping and... Yeah, Saturday I have to go look for some apartments. So I might vlog. Might vlog. Who knows? Might decide to vlog. Be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah. Um, I feel like I'm going to have so much more videos coming. Especially when I transfer. Like, I'm going to make my own apartment. Because right now I'm in an apartment of five. It's kind of hard to film all the time. That's why I'm always so, like, non-consistent on this channel because I'm in an apartment of five. It's so hard. Okay? It's so hard to film with five people in a house. You have one person there listening to you. You have one person there listening to you. You have somebody over there making some noise with some music. Somebody over there arguing. Somebody over there asleep so y'all won't wake them up. Like, Then my room's small as hell, so, like, I don't have no wall space to film. I'm currently in my roommate's room filming on her wall because she has a big empty wall. See, I'm, I'm doing things for y'all. Like, I'm improvising for y'all. Because I love y'all, and I want to get this video out there. Put some content out there because it's been a minute. So I have to ask her to let me see her wall, borrow her wall. She helped the good sister out, so. Thanks to Scotty for her wall. Thanks, Scotty, for her wall. Also, since we shouting people out for walls and stuff, 
Let me shout my good cousin out for her her necklace that she gave me. Well, that I bought from her. This is her company, Charmed by Mar. I'm gonna put her business name right here, her Instagram business page, all that good stuff. You know, so y'all can go shop from her. It has my zodiac on. I'm gonna get up closer so y'all can see. It has my zodiac on it. Beautiful, just beautiful. I love it. I'm a big person when it comes to horoscopes and zodiacs. So anything with Libra on it, send to me. Like, just send it my way. I just love it all. Anything with Libra on it, the Libra scale. I just love it. Like I'm just all off topic now. We ain't even talk about college no more. Whatever. But yeah, y'all. That's pretty much all I have for this video. Just letting y'all know that your girl transferring in her senior year or whatever. Like, girl got one more year of college left, but she decided to transfer. Do bigger things, better things elsewhere. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys support my decision. And if you don't, you can exit this video. Kindly leave the, the building. We don't need you here with all this negativity, please. 2020 we are no longer dealing with negativity over here on this side and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be back with more videos very soon i want you guys to like comment and subscribe turn that post notification bell on on okay on because i will be back with more videos okay i will i promise to try to be more consistent y'all I am trying. I am a college student. It get hard out here, y'all. It's getting hard. It's hard. But I'm going to try. Okay. Bye, guys. I love y'all. Thanks for supporting me, even though I'm a small YouTuber trying to get big out here in this world. I love y'all. Bye.